You know her mother was a Welsh milliner, and her father a sugar baker at Bristol. Gossip, 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 gossips, gossipers, and scandal mongers. Ah, there's no judging by her looks, unless one could see her face. <laughs> Power, reputation. Ulterior motives, duplicity, colluding, manipulative, manipulation, affectation, competition, bitchy, bitchiness, bitch. Nay, her bulk is her misfortune. And when she takes such pains to get rid of it, you ought not to reflect on her. It's about media, it's about scandal, um, it's about slander and duplicity. Um, everything that we loathe about our own society, I think. There's an art and there's a skill to, to um, being critical about people. I'm very glad you think so, ma'am. An awkward gawky who, who hasn't got one good point under heaven. Mercy on me. The clues in the title, you know, the characters, their names describe their purpose in the play. Sir Benjamin Backbite. Mrs. Candor. Crabtree. Lady Snaywell. Joseph Service. Oh, surely she is a pretty woman. When she's neither talking nor laughing, which very seldom happens, she never absolutely shuts her mouth, but leaves it always on a jar, as it were thus. It's such a brilliant play, it's fun and it's frothy, it fizzes and I think it's really funny as well. Just say the line, the line is funny, <laughs> if you say it right. <laughs>